What is up, everybody? It's your boy, Chris Cage, coming at you two times, and we have a weekly race video for y'all. But before you begin, feel free to check out the Sunflower Company. But what is the Sunflower Company, you may be asking? Well, I'm glad you asked. The Sunflower Company is a small business gift shop that's run and owned by my bestie in the world, Carissa Swayzer. Over there, you'll be able to browse over a number of sunflower-themed items or non-sunflower-themed items that you never thought you wanted until now. The link to her Etsy store will be in the description for y'all to check out if y'all are interested. Well, ladies and gentlemen, for the first time in 2022, the Super 6 lane is back out. I do have my stoppers from the all-out race. I'm, I'm planning on getting new ones because those look worn out. But what we're going to do is... We got a bin of real cars, and we're going to go race for, excuse me, race for a spot on the Tower of Fast. Now, the Tower of Fast hasn't changed at all since we last done a fill-up race in December. So, it's time to head over to the Tower of Fast to see which of the five cars are going to have their realistic spots be up for grabs. In space one, we have the Thunderburner. In space two, we have the 2009 Ford F-150. In space three, we have the Honda Civic Si, retooled for 2021. In space four, we have the Hot Wheels Ford Transit Connect, which is going to be racing in a future versus race if it hasn't already been out yet. And in space five, what is this? A McLaren F1 in Hot Wheels? Yeah, McLaren F1 in Space 5. Those are your five cars in the Tower of Fast. And now it's time to see which one of these five car spots is going to be up. And it's time now to begin the Tower of Fast race with our first round on the Super 6 lane. It's time to begin round one. Here's your first matchup. Winner, We're going to lane three with this one, and it goes to the Cadillac CTSV. Winner, your winner in lane four this time goes to the Lamborghini Huracan LP610-4. We're going to lane 5 here with this one, and it goes to the Lumina Stalker Race Team Edition, and it's dark blue. Winner, lane five. We're going to lane 5 with this one, and it goes to the Lancia Delta Integrale. By the way, Lancia is not in Horizon 5 as we speak at this moment. Oh, the Camaro, I didn't get a good start. And I believe your winner this time, who just flew off the track for some odd reason, is the Lotus Esprit S1. Which, so far right now, this and the other Esprit are the only cars made by Lotus so far in current Hot Wheels production. What's up, Lotus? The winner in lane three goes to another stock car this time. It is the Monte Carlo Stalker. Winner, lane five. Your winner in lane five this time is the 2008 Lance Revolution. Who would have thought that this Ford Aerostar is going to get the win? Winner, lane three. 1996, Porsche Carrera gets the win. Winner, lane one. 
So one tell Mr. Grooves that his avalanche, his bling Chevy avalanche has gotten a win here on my track. Going to lane one, and it goes to the Guster, 55 Chevy Biller Gasser. We're going to lane three, and it goes to the Kia Stinger GT. Your winner in lane two is the Honda Spocket. Winner, lane four. Your winner in lane four, I believe, is the Nissan 300ZX. We're going to lane two with this one, and it's the 77 Pontiac Firebird Trans Am. Winner, lane two. We're going to lane two, and the Nissan 350Z gets the win. Second to the last race. Oh, it was a drag race between two Chevrolets, but it goes to the Monte Carlo Stalker. And just like that, we're down to your final six. It's time to see who will move on to the next round. Well, that's only the most, uh, most successful downhill racing car ever. Ferrari F40. That will get the win. Moving on with these 15 castings right here. they will also moving on to round number two. Here they all are. It's an interesting bunch right here. But with round one in the books, round two will begin right after this. Type round two. Here's your first of three heats. Winner, lane four. Lane four, going to the Nissan 350Z. And look, he beat out the F40. Winner, lane one. All right, your next winner is... The 2008 Lance Revolution. So far in the final heat, there is no JDM cars at all. So it's going to be two JDM against one American or import. Let's put the let's put the final heat up and let's see who will win. Three Americans, two Italians, and one British car on the track. One of these or one of them is going to win it, and the rest are going to be sent packing. Let's see who will be the lucky winner. Well, it's all American because look at how American this car is. You know it's made by Hot Wheels. Uh, it is the Cadillac CTSV that's going to get the win. And here are your final three. You have the CTSV. You have the 2008 Lance Revolution and the Nissan 350Z. One of these three are going to challenge for a spot in the Tower of Fast in a quite clever way to do the finals that I will explain in the finals. And let's get to the finals right now. All right, finals, everybody. Here's how it's going to go. This is going to be podium elimination. So basically, the loser... Or, or so the car, basically, who is last, and, and, and it'll be by my judgment, is out. And then it goes down to two. Or 
or something like that. So, sign to see who will win in this special elimination style race. Alright, that was clearly a tough run right there. So, if I were to guesstimate right there, okay. So, I kind of screwed the rules up. Sorry, I'm just trying to think of something brand new here. So, he gets the podium win, or he gets the top spot, which means that it's not up to these two to race for second. That's how it's supposed to go. Sorry about that, guys. Second place run go. Okay, so basically the podium style elimination goes like this. Uh, the winner is the one who gets first place, and then the winner of these two gets the runner-up spot, and then the one at third place doesn't get anything. And he gets sent back in. That's how it's supposed to go. So sorry about the rule mix-up. Anyway, who will get second? Oh, wow, look at that. CTSV comes up with a shocker. Which means that it's time to put him against the 350Z. Alright. 101 race between the 350Z and the CTSV. GDM versus America. Let's see who will get it. Winner! Lane 2! It will go to the Nissan 350Z. So, I'm going to hear some clicking noises here. It's time to see who... Will the 350Z challenge for a spot on the Tower of Fats? I got my die somewhere. I gotta roll it off a of camera, or it might be in camera, you never know. Alright, so if I get a so I got a six. So what that means is if I get a six, that means that I get to choose which car it's going to face. So please stand by. I've chosen a car, and it's going to be the Honda Civic Si in Space 3. So with that out of the way, it's time to see who will win Space 3. Will it be the Honda Civic Si, or will it be the Nissan 350Z? The gauntlet race for these two will begin. Alright, 350Z with a base code of K42 versus the... Nissan 300s, or no. What the hell am I saying? Honda Civic Si with a base code of P10. Who is going to win Space 3? The gauntlet race begins now. Winner! Lane 2! Just like that, he wins his first run. He gotta win again in order to maintain the spot. All right, so will the Civic Si force a split, or will the 350Z take the Space 3 just like that? Let's find out. Winner, lane five. And we have a new car in Space 3. It is the Nissan 350Z. Congratulations to the Nissan Z on gaining Space number 3 from the Civic Si. So let's put him in the tower fast. And there he is, ladies and gentlemen. New car in Space 3, the 350Z. And ladies and gentlemen, just like that, that is it for today's tower fast race for today's Hot Wheels Weekly Race. A lot of great cars came on the Super 6 lane, and many have tried, but only one got lucky. And it is this guy, the 350Z, who is now the new car in Space number 3. Someone rhymes. Hey! But well, that'll do it for today's race. I hope you like this video. Give it a thumbs up. Comment down below. If you are brand new watching this, be sure you subscribe. Um, and also turn on those notification bells so you don't miss a thing from me or something. Anyways, it's your boy Chris Cage. I'm coming at you two times and we will see you at the next video.